So this might be one of the most abstract projects that I have done to date. My customer requested one of our double XL cribbage boards, but she wanted something really different that stood out not only with the wood layout, but with colors as well. As you can see, we selected four different colors of epoxy, and then I came up with this abstract layout in the wood. What I did was just take my jigsaw and follow the grain lines of a, the piece of wood I was working on and cut out four different pieces of wood for the center and then added some border pieces as well. I then started pouring the different colors in the gaps that I created in the middle. This way the original colors would remain in the gaps, but on the sides it was allowed to mix and blend with each other in a truly unique way. This process took a while to get to the final depth we were going for, but in the end it was worth it. I also used the air compressor to assist and give some character to the mix of colors, which also really paid off. After the epoxy was cured, I then got to work on the cribbage board layout. Now some of you might be asking yourself why I'm spreading all the excess epoxy over the entire board, and the simple answer, it's to reduce the chip out when the CNC is drilling all the holes. It's something that I have begun doing because I am already using the epoxy in the skunk and five count lines. So rather than waste a bunch of Oro mask or masking tape, this is something that I came up with to help reduce the chip out. And it also provides some surface protection as well. Once that was done and all the sanding and polishing were complete, it was on to finishing. As per usual, we went with Rubio mono coat and black forest ceramic top coat, just to add a bit more scratch protection to the board. I just have to say, this project came out way better than I originally anticipated. It's always a bit nerve wracking when you are doing abstract work. You have a vision in your head of what it should look like in the end, but at least for me, sometimes what's in your head doesn't exactly translate to the finished piece. I can thankfully say, this wasn't one of those times. The way the colors mixed with each other and how the color shifting pigments really came through blew my mind. I know abstract pieces like this can really turn people off, but when your customer, the one that's actually paying you to do it, requests it, then other people's opinions just don't matter. When customers give you free reign to just make them a piece of functional art and allow your creativity to shine through, I feel it really shows up in the end product. Not only are you seeing what a maker's hard work can do, but you're also getting a piece of them and their creativity. So please let me know what you think about this one in the comments and don't forget to like, follow and subscribe to our pages and channels to keep seeing our content. Thanks for watching and we will see you on the next one.